Right, the next thing I'm going to work on is um, page three in your book. Now, again, there's a link below with how to access. Um, there's some notes and access the page. In this page, I've printed off on a document so you can just uh, see how to produce it. So this is what it should look like. Now, what you're going to do is um, two or three things there. One, the first thing you want to do is copy some apples, but those apples need to be copied in the style of Cezanne. So what you will need is some pictures of Cezanne's apples, then get some apples of your own and paint them. Now, this has been done on a photograph of some apples. So um, here, I photograph some apples, and then from that app, those apples, a student has actually painted them in, and that painting then goes in your book. Um, you could just set up some apples and photograph it yourself and then print it off in black and white and then paint over the top or you could just you could draw them out so um, lots of students will get a nice piece of paper on the picture of apples and then they would stick that piece of paper over stick it up to a window see the light coming through trace it exactly so you would get the exact apples on your paper and then from that you can then paint in your apples now there are some things to remember. Cezanne, he liked working in a chisel paintbrush. So this picture, you want to see the painting, sorry, you need to see the brush strokes. That was a little bit better there. You actually could have some more chisel brush strokes in there. Um, if you got um that is how to produce the picture of the apples. Now you'll need to do write some writing about Cezanne. Um, with the Cezanne picture, oh uh, with the Cezanne writing what you want to do, well on there you can actually see some writing, I blurred out some writing that's irrelevant, but he did make a quote on the apple, uh, on the shape of a sphere, a cone and a cylinder, and if you can get that in your writing about Cezanne, that would be good. Uh, it says, annotating the work, on the previous page is a copy of my initial, I completed in water soluble graphite, I used art masking fluid in a description of how the first picture was done, because there's no writing to go with that. And then on there is an example now of the what's going on above. Now, if your writing is longer, you might not have enough room for this. But above, painting of my own apples, painting the style of Cezanne. Notice the chisel brush marks and the shadows creating using complementary colours. If you research Cezanne, you will realise that he actually painted his shadows in complementary colours, and that's what's happened here. So that is page uh, three in your book. Now mounting up this is um, important as well and I'm that, going to explain that on another video called mounting up. So you will need that, some writing about Cezanne, include some pictures because it means that you understand, it looks as though you understand the pictures and you don't have to get so much writing in. Um, it is an art subject so you want the pictures to be there to, to fill it up because you, you want it to, to understand what Cezanne is, you can have some art pictures in there of Cezanne as well.